This video aims to help people install the license server for PTC's Pro Engineer Schools Edition. The first place to start, of course, is selecting your language, but then go to the installation guide. If you are online, this will take you to the PTC website where you will see the latest version of the install guide. This is a very useful document. It is worth saving to your local drive and printing to review the installation setup of Pro Engineer Schools Edition, including the license server. Go to page 11 for license server installation. There is also a link on this page to the PTC website. Allow your PDF to go to Internet Explorer or your browser to get to the PTC website. At this stage, you may like to get your server MAC address. This is called the PTC Host ID. If you do an installation as you would on a standalone machine, you will be able to see it. You're going to need that to get your license for your server. In addition to the host ID, you need the product code. In Australia, we print that product code on the certificate you receive from Intad. Note the product code is not the MAC address. You need both these things to be able to obtain your license or your license server from the PTC website. When you've typed in all your details, submit this request. It's going to send to your email address the email address with which you are registered at the PTC website. It's going to send you a license pack. This license pack will contain a .dat file. This is the license for the server, not for your local machine. Download this attachment and save it somewhere where you can recover it later. Again, this license is for your server, not for your local computers. Go through the process of saving this file, being sure to remember where you have saved it for future reference. The second stage of this process involves you downloading the license server software. That is, the software that will run on your server to serve the licenses out to your school's computers. Go to the additional installations link on the setup page and then you would download the Windows version, in this case, of the license server software. You may need to log into the PTC server once again. This is a large file, 159 megabytes, and I would recommend you do this at the server. Download this file, as you can see here, to the public downloads folder, but again, you can download to wherever you wish, as long as you're going to remember where you've saved it to. This file is zipped, so when it's fully downloaded, you will need to unzip it prior to running this file. Again, this file is to set up the license server, the computer that will be used at your school to serve the licenses to the other machines. When downloaded, run the setup exe. It will install itself, but at one stage will stop and it's looking for that license file that we downloaded earlier. This of course is the license.dat file that you downloaded previously from the PTC server. In the example, this is saved in the downloads directory, but note you need to change it so that it's looking for the DAT files. When it's found it, continue by clicking install. 
Once your license server is up and running, you can then go to a station in your school and do a local installation. That means you're now going to use the CDs. Prior to this step, you didn't need to use the CDs for your server installation. That was done using the software that you downloaded. At this point, you must be specifying the license server. You will need to know the name of your server. This can be found in the properties of My Computer while you are at the server. Don't forget to press enter after typing in this host name. Click next and the installation will continue. At one stage it will ask for the second CD, but you'll have that handy. Good luck!